Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. At this here, we have log h raised to power x equals to log 80 on this side. Then here, we apply the power law of log n. What we have? Log m raised to power p. The same thing as p log m. And this here we have x log 8 equals to log 80 from here. And next step here, we decide both side by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. That is, here, yeah, log 8 cancel each other. And we have x equals to log 80 over log h. Then from what we have here, we can rewrite 80 as 8 times 10. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 10 over log h. Then from here, this follows the law of log n. What we have log a times b. This same thing as log a plus log b. This here we have x equals to log 8 plus log 10 over log 8. That is Next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8. That is, here we have log 8 can switch other one left here, which implies x equals to 1 plus log 10 over log h. Then, next step here, we can also rewrite 10 as 2 times 5. At this here we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 8. At this also, this follows log log n, log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, here we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 8. That is, here, we separate this into two fractions. We have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8. That is, from here, we can also write it as 2 times 2 times 2, which is the same thing as 2 raised to power 3. That is, here we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 raised to power 3 plus log 5 over log 2 raised to power 3. Then here we apply the power of log 3 comes here and also here. This becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2. That is, here we have log 2 cancel each other. This becomes x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3 plus here also we can write as 1 over 3 times log 5 over log 2. Then, next step here we have x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3, same thing as 4 over 3, then plus 1 over 3, times log 5 
over log 2. Then also here, we apply change of this here. When we have log a over log b, this same thing as log a to base b. That is, here we have x equals to 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 times log 5 to base 2. And also, we bring this together as one fraction, and this becomes x equals to the SCM here, that's 3. Then here we have 4 plus log 5 base 2. That is, the value of x here we have 4 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. Then, let's check if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 4 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 4 plus log 5 is 2 over 3. This is equals to 80 on this side. That is, from here, we can write 8 as 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 4 plus log 5 raised to 2 over 3. This is equals to 80 on this side. Then here, this power multiplies. 3 here cancel each other. We have 2 raised to power 4 plus log 5 raised to 2. This is equals to 80 on this side. Then this follows the law of indices. What we have a raised to the power n plus n. This same thing as a raised to the power n times a raised to the power n. And this here we have 2 raised to the power 4 times 2 raised to the power log 5 base 2. This is equal to 80 on this side. 2 raised to the power 4 implies 2 multiplied say 4 times. And that's 16 times this. Follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. At this a we have 5. This is equals to 80 on this side. And here 16 is 5. That's 80, which is equals to 80 from this side. At this left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to. 4 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video with some people. See you next lesson. Bye for now.